Hey everybody, John here, your host on MGTOW is Freedom, and MGTOW is men going their own way. Right? Going your own way, what does that mean? Well, it means putting aside the idea that you have to have relationships, that you have to have relationships with women. That society says it, that your mommy said it, that your male friends say it, that women say it, that television says it. Right. So that's what MGTOW is freedom is. That's what many men are discovering they are. They didn't know there was a name for it. I didn't know there was a name for it, I think, uh, as little as three years ago. Anyways, uh, you know, what do you do about it? Well, there's, it's not something you do anything about. It's just what happens. It's what happens to men when they've seen enough, when they've had enough, when they've been punished enough. It's what happens. You know, what do you do about it? Right? Well, you just do. Right? You start testing and seeing what works for you. So I've had this question put to me a few times. Uh, I've had it put to me by people in person, I've seen it in comments, and I've gotten it in emails. John, is there another way, another way to deal with this? And uh, I've kind of avoided the question and just asked them more about what they're interested in. Um, but I thought I would address the, address the subject a little better uh, in this video. When we say, is there another way? What are we talking about? You know, what are we talking about? Let's talk about the, the social aspect of it. Is there another way? Right? Well, the social aspect has nothing to do with us as individuals. It has to do with society's notion. Right? Not, not just your notion or your friend's notion. But society's notion, where does that idea, those notions come from, that you have to be married to someone? Right, there's, there would be, you know, is there another way to do it? Well, no, society says no. There's only one way to do it. Right, you're castigated or you're looked down upon in some way, right? You're picked on, in other words, by society if you don't have a woman. It's because society and whatever is directing it wants us to have relationships. It does. That's just the way it is. So is there another way to deal with society? Thankfully, you know, we can say no to society. Society is not the law, fortunately. But is there another way? That's up for society to decide. In my case, I believe society is dictated to, or is rather hypnotized, by a social agenda. That is a group, and it's not a small group, I think it's a very large group, and it, uh, it doesn't, it exists perpetually, it perpetuates itself. And then there are those who are very powerful within it, who direct it. All right, so is there another way to, other than MGTOW to deal with the problem? Well, when it comes to society, uh, the answer, I think, is no. There's a definite direction, and they're going to stay on track. So there's not another way to deal with the problem, right? Is MGTOW the only way with society? Yeah, it really is, because you can't, you know, how do you push on something that's made out of nothing? Right? How do you get to it? So then let's look at um, the social media. Is there another way, right? Well, actually, social media is working for us, <laughs> right? And they're trying to fight us, right? Uh, you know, is there another way other than MGTOW to change things? Well, if we could all be married to a bunch of gold-digging whores who were destroying us on a continual basis, and we went to a social media platform and said, Hey, we need to stop this, guys. We all need to behave. Or girls. It doesn't matter who's fucking up, but just telling them to stop it. Social media in that way 
would be useful for everyone talking about a problem, but it wouldn't be very useful in getting people to change their behavior. Right? Is there another way, or is MGTOW it? MGTOW uses social media, and it's also becoming a form of entertainment media um, along the lines of radio, television, print, Right there, I don't know if there's a MGTOW newspaper, but YouTube and other media right, are educational venues, entertainment venues. I try and be as entertaining as I can, as well as informative, and get people to think for themselves. Because I don't have all the answers. I'm just one guy. And there's a lot of MGTOW voices out here, and a lot more on a daily basis coming out. Because men, I think, are discovering and that's the purpose of this video, is that there is no other way. MGTOW is the only way. Because I can't find another way to deal with this problem. Right? The problem is, is society pushing us at women and pushing women on us so that we can be punished on a permanent, perpetual, continual, never-ending, hellish-type circle. Right? Pain, pain, pain. There is no other way. Or is there? Well, women. Can we fix women? You know, let's, let's think of the ways. You know, if we could just fix women, then MGTOW would be unnecessary. Right? That would be the other way, is to fix women. Well, how do we fix them? Do you fix them collectively? That's kind of like pushing on air, uh, you know. Or do you fix them individually? In both cases, you're fighting against society's push for a type of relationship that has nothing to do with what would work between a man and a woman. Additionally, uh, working as an individual or a group to struggle against the way women think as a group and think individually you're fighting media, social media, movie media, right? computer or internet based media. You're fighting against all form of indoctrination. School, parental. So when you're a man coming up against a woman and you say, hey look, here's all the problems I see. She's gonna go, you're on the outside looking in buddy. You know, you're on the outs, and you're like, yeah, I am on the outs. I'm a man going my own way with good reason. Because on the inside, there's nothing I can do. So when I say, can you fix women? Now, too big of a group, and then right, they go back to groupthink as soon as you stop talking to them. For example, I've talked to two or three women at a time and tried reasoning things out. And I'm not saying that they can't think about it. I'm just saying to change their mind no way. You can't change years and decades of indoctrination, of behavioral, uh, behavioral pacification or behavioral, they've been positively pushed in a direction based on behavioral positions, right? They do something, positive reaction, positive reaction, positive reaction, they go in a direction, that's the way they're going. Can you change women's behavior? Can you change the way they think as an individual? I'm going to say the odds of that are fucking no. Even if you sat down with one woman and worked on her for years and years and years, you will not change the way she thinks. Because now you enter into what, uh, and it sounds like you could, it sounds like a really intelligent man. A guy who could explain things really well, a MGTOW type guy, could sit down with an individual woman and explain to her the problem that we have with relationships, with culture, with society, with social media, with the education system. You would think that we could sit down and explain it to them. And that they would get it. And that they could apply that that they could learn, that they could change. 
that was an experiment I was involved in for 23 years. <laughs> no amount of masculine fortitude. No beating her to death with the cock to try and win her over that way, sexually. No amount of love. No amount of sacrifice. No amount of fighting. No amount of reason. No amount of media, educational help. Nothing helped. And it didn't help that I was dealing with some personality defects. But it's hard for me to find anybody on the planet, much less a woman, who doesn't have at least one personality disorder. You know, and nobody's perfect. Right? Nobody's perfect. But here we are talking about putting yourself into a relationship with another human being. A relationship where your life can be affected. And so when we say, yeah, they all seem to have some kind of psychotic personality defects, well, you're damn right I don't want to get involved in that. And you're damn right I'm pissing into the wind thinking that I'm going to make a difference, that I could change this person for the better, for their own good, not just for my benefit and my need for sandwiches. <laughs> right? It's about, can, you know, can you help this person? That's kind of what a relationship is. Can I help this person? Can they help me? Can I serve this person as a man? Can that woman serve me as a woman? Can it be a mutually beneficial relationship? You know, is there another way besides MGTOW? The answer is basically no. You can't. You cannot. This is my opinion. I can't. Perhaps you can see a better way. If you do, put it in the comments. This is how to fix the problem. I would love to see it. Right? And and not, not a pie in the sky way. Not uh not I don't mind discussions about the future, and I don't mind discussions about the past. Um, I'm going to be on an airplane tomorrow, so I'll probably be able to read all these. Oh boy, and I'd like to. What you know? What is what's the corrective action that can that can be taken? You know, is there anything individuals can do? Is there anything men as a group can do? I say the answer is no. We just go our own way as men. You know, you deal with the people that come to you, men and women, you know, uh, groups of people. You deal with them as best you can. You keep a protective barrier between you and them as best you can. And you stay the fuck out of harm's way. And I think that's really what MGTOW is, is staying out of harm's way. Because we've talked about, hey, how do you deal with, uh, 